Bill Mangos is definitely a motorcycle fanatic. He loves motorcycles. That's his passion. So let's take a look at some more motorcycles real quick as we pan through here. There's a lot of history in here. Alright, this is all for all you Harley, hardcore Harley Davidson nuts out there. Um, a lot of times I've talked to you guys and you guys don't even know what an Indian tricar is. Well, this is an Indian tricar. I think of, I'm pretty sure this was built in 1914. That don't look like a V-twin to me. Now, the reason that they took the V-twins out of these motorcycles is because of when they were using these in the Africa campaign, they, uh, they, they overheated a lot in the desert. So what they did is they changed them out to BMW motors. This is a motorcycle that the 101st and 82nd Airborne, when they went into D-Day invasion on June 6th, the night before when they landed inland, they, um, they used these motorcycles out of the airplanes to get around in. So you're telling me they used this uh, yellow bike for hill climbs back in the day, huh? Yeah. That's what the chain is on the back. Fender's cut off. Fender's cut off. Regular MG42s, they didn't have those two uh, magazines on each side. They actually had felt fed. So that's the difference between this one model and the actual MG42, but it is an MG42 gun. There's the Henderson sidecar. We got some aerial there. And of course, uh, the piece of resistance for Gil Mangles himself is the 1941 Indian 4. He's never fired us up, has he? He's working on a sidecar for it right now. So this should be real exciting for him to get this project pretty much wrapped up for him. But uh, this is Gil's baby right here. This is his pride and joy. It's pretty interesting how you're finding uh, comfort behind the flag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what the museum is. That's I right. That's about. That's exactly right. You got a picture of our gamma goat up there with yes, our. Yes, I did. The opening sign and the Humvee. And... 